We all know someone with gear fear. They've got millions of rubles and a stash full of weapons and armor, but they choose to run lower tier stuff because they're worried about losing it all. It may even be you and that's okay. We all had to start somewhere and Tarkov does a great job of making you feel the pressure during those early days. However, I'm going to try and change your mind and show you just how fun the game can be when you run the juiciest gear you can get your hands on. No way! What do you hear? Full auto f What was that? Turns out the gentleman had an RFB in a slick. Not quite sure how he fired it that fast. Maybe give me your best guess in the comments below. Sounds so sexy. Give up your pit. Oof. I just like the sound of the SA fifty eight, mate. And I was I was thinking to myself, if this, if this guy's gonna f kill me, I might as well do it with an empty mag, right? So what is it that inspires our friends to run as cheap a kit as possible? when there's so many ways to make money and find gear and weapons and equipment out in stashes and caches around the locations. I honestly believe it's due to the infinite ways in which you can die in Tarkov. And many players feel like, well, what's the point in me running high tier gear if I'm just going to get hair diced anyway? So I'll let you in on a little secret. The number one contributing factor to your survival is your playstyle. It's not your gear, it's not your weapon necessarily. Sometimes this obviously can be the case, but for the most part, it's the way you play the game and the decisions you make along the way. This is what's going to keep you alive. The obvious question here is what does my playstyle have to do with gear fear? I like to think of the answer as some kind of snowball. Survive more. Staying alive. Lose less money means more money in the bank. Have more money for good kits. Use less bad ammo. Be more combat effective so you're winning more fights. Less unnecessary deaths, less frustration. Financial freedom to play your way, which equals a more enjoyable game for you. And let's be honest, probably your friends. But what if you're a solo player? Don't worry, I made a video on that too. It just means you don't have someone to watch your back or ditch your gear if you die. In this case, it's all up to you to get out alive. And the way that we do this as solo players is by being as combat effective as we can. Running our best armor, might give us that few extra seconds we need to survive. Running that high pen ammo may just help you penetrate that opponent's class 5 armor. Making sure you've got the right meds just in case you get a heavy bleed or fractures. Stims can be an incredible help as well and they've got me out of a pinch many times. And I'm sure many of us have been in the situation where we've thought if only I had a propotol or a green stim or an SJ6 mule, whatever it is. If only you had that item ready instead of having it in the stash, it could have saved your life. Which brings me to the golden rule. Use it or sell it. Unless you're holding on to it specifically for a task, make use of it. Whether that means taking it into a raid and maybe losing it, or maybe having the best raid of your life. Or indeed selling it, making some money, and running gear that you're comfortable with using. Just remember, higher class armor just means a higher chance to survive. Nothing is guaranteed. Same goes for ammo. It's not always guaranteed that it's going to penetrate and deal maximum damage to the target. However, unless you use that good ammo, you're going to find it much harder to take out those geared targets and increase your chances of survival. Honestly, there's going to be times where you go into a raid absolutely juiced out of your mind and you get destroyed. Usually buy some inferior ammo, okay, or you make a silly mistake and you get your ass kicked. It's fine, it happens to us all. Okay, gear up, go again, 
You got this. All right, don't let it get you down. He heard me clear as day. He did, mate. He did. I didn't hear shit. Stomach as well, mate. What was we wearing? It was the TB110, wasn't it? Yeah, if we had a different headset on. Or well, if we actually had a headset on and uh, had a rig that covered our stomach or body armor that covered our stomach there, I think that would have been a very different encounter. Oh, it's a shame about the scar. I was really enjoying, uh, really enjoying using that. So there you have it, guys. Even after 9,000 hours, I still find myself getting body bagged more often than I'd like. But that's just how it goes. All right, gear up, go again, and off you go. Don't worry too much about the gear. Just focus on playing the game, learning the maps, and becoming more comfortable. All right, guys, you will get it eventually. It will all click, I promise you. But it takes time. And the only thing that's guaranteed is that you will die a lot. Okay, this is Tarkov, remember? That's just how it goes. Take care of yourselves, guys, and I'll see you very soon.